Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Clay Ramage, back again with a combination video this time. We went to, actually Cindy and I went to a couple garage sales, then we ended up in the neighborhood of the bins, so of course we had to stop at the bins. So we stopped at the bins and picked up a few things. It was not the best selection today, and that's okay, you hit and miss at the bins, you never know what you're going to get. Um, so we'll show the bins first, and I think I didn't do any research on this one, but I'm excited about it, which I'll show it to you in a little bit. That'll be the last thing I show from the bins haul. And then um, I have uh, a, uh, some good stuff from our garage sale, too. So, all right. One of the first things from the bins haul is these vintage pair of clip-on sunglasses. Now, Part of the reason you can tell a vintage pair of sunglasses is because these are real glass lenses. They're not plastic. Um, and these are real glass. Plus they just have some nice age to them. I didn't look to see if it's got any marks. No marks. Well, what was funny was I found these in a eyeglass container with a modern set of sunglasses. So that's why I always open stuff up and look when I'm in the bins. Did find some books. Hearts Aglow. I have no idea. Oh, it's a local Minnesota thing. It says, praised by major book reviewers. Um, a heart, her heart thoughts about some central experiences of her life as a wife, mother, and citizen. So, what was interesting about this one is it's autographed. So, this is the third book now from the bins in three weeks that I found that's autographed. So I'm getting my own autograph collection of books, <laughs> which is great because, yeah, I can't find anything else on that book. So it was a very local book, very small publishing. Found a little bunny book. This one cracked me up. The story of a fierce bad bunny. You better look out for bad bunnies, especially if you're a Monty Python fan. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Picked up a Harvard classic, Folklore and Fable, Aesop, Grimm, and Anderson in this particular book. It's number 17. They had a whole series of these. I've had these in the past as well. And I still might have a few. This is a 1909, <coughs> excuse me, publication. I love finding those old ones. This one I picked up just because old computer stuff is in demand. This is called PC File Buttonware. This is published in 1990 by Jim Button Buttonware. Um, so it's a PC file, copyright notice, blah, blah, blah. Talking about this particular software. On a quick look, I didn't find anything about it. So I have to do some more research on that. This book is My Life and Work by Henry Ford. The spine and print is pretty worn. This was in the Hennepin County Library, which is our local county here in uh, Minnetonka. It was published in 1924. And it is missing a few of the front pages, at least one. Yeah, just one. Probably It probably had somebody's name written on it or somebody did something in the library tore it out. This was a cool find. The Turnip, I'm sure many of you have heard of this Russian folk tale. It's in this beautiful book. And then I turned it on the back. Well, let me show you some more pictures because it got wonderfully illustrated. Um, but on the back, look, it's printed in the USSR, Moscow. So we know this is pre-1980s. It doesn't have a date on it. I'm not exactly sure, but the graphics are just awesome. And I could not find a similar one on a quick look. Okay, this was a surprising thing to me in the value. So I saw this box, Badash Crystal, Badash. It says, exquisite hand cut blown, set of four double rocks. Well, you never know what you find in the bin, so you always open it up, right? Well, it is exactly what it says it is. There are these beautiful glasses hand cut crystal with this goose design on it still has the label so these have never been used 
bash hand cut crystal. So there's a set of four in the box, in the original box. And these sell four, they're uncut ones or a set of four in the box is selling for 30. Now I paid $2 for the whole box because glassware is 49 cents each. So that was a very pleasant surprise. I was like, oh, cool, I'll do that. So I think I'm probably list those for around 40. Because some of their stuff there, I was not aware of this company before. So I learned something today. But they, uh, some of their stuff is really expensive. All right, so this I also picked up at the bins. It's a piece of artwork done by an artist. She's, she's getting to be better known. This is a scripture, Philippians 3.13. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. And then on the back, it talks about her work. Mary Proctor and she's uh, what am I trying to say she's getting more and more exhibits if you will in the year 2003 Mary will be one of eight self-taught artists featured in an exhibit at the International Folk Art Museum in Santa Fe New Mexico so the wire to hang it's broken on the back but as some of you know I collect religious art and this is just fabulous folk art um, she uses various things like beads, buttons, whatever she could find to do her artwork. In this case, it's stone and some sort of glue. Um, but yeah, just a fabulous piece. I have not looked her up to see what kind of value that might have at this point. Because um, again, the, the, the information on the back is kind of old. All right, so that's... Basically what we've got at the bins today. So very small haul, which is nice because that's manageable. I can deal with that right now. <laughs> I have so much stuff from these first couple garage sales of the year. I'm still trying to work through all of the stuff. Okay. And again, I think it's going to be a pretty incredible year for garage sales. So the, we went to one garage sale. We found just a small portable TV, which we were looking for for a kitchen. And that was all at that garage sale. The next one was an unexpected garage sale. We saw a sign, so we pulled over and went to the sale. And what's funny is this week in Minnesota, this week of April, it's been very rainy and snowy. So it's like a rain-snow combination almost all week. So the last thing we expected were some more garage sales happening, but they are, and uh, found some good stuff. Found these little Halloween bears. They're ceramic figurines. They were 25 cents each. So I said for 25 cents each, can't beat that. Because I sell a lot of these down at the Pink Elephant during the holidays. And let's see. Is it a P? I don't know how this goes. I think it goes. So another figure we found was this guy. Oops. Oh, he's got a broken rung there. It's this chimney sweep. Never seen a chimney sweep figure before. He's unmarked. I assume he's probably like a Taiwan piece. The label probably just fell off. Kind of a take on the uh, red ring platter. Oh, I just noticed his neck is broke. Yeah, that's okay. He's still cute. And he still has accessories, which is amazing. And I found these two ceramic pieces. These, I believe, are little hobbyist pieces, but they're little ghost figurines. One's sleeping, and one's got his teddy ghost. <laughs> um, found this fabulous a alabaster carved bunny. It's this beautiful pink and almost a lime green color of alabaster for 50 cents. That's just fabulous. Look at that face. Cute little bunny face. And then found a number of books. <clears throat> these are like sets of books by different publishers all large name well-known titles lady chatterley's lover women in love sons and lovers so this set these are like you know eight dollars each so i'll probably do the three for fifteen dollars just to see if i can't move them on a nancy drew's mystery this is a different publisher than usual so and it's missing the dust jacket bridges of Mid madison county 
all of these are like from 70 to 1980. The house at Pooh Corner. And this one. Um, again, it's right in that period. It doesn't have a specific date. H.G. Wells collection of stories. The Time Machine, Island of Dr. Moreau, Invisible Man, War of the Worlds, First Men on the Moon, Foods of the Gods by Amaranth Press. Many times these, this is what I look for in books, if it has the, um, what am I, can't think of the pattern, but this colored uh, inside cover page, the title page, and 1979 is the publishing date of these. So, but if it has this colorful marbled paper on the inside, uh, it's bonded leather on the outside, Usually those are much more expensive um, books to buy as well as to sell. So I look for those types. Um, and here's another Winnie the Pooh. So we got two Winnie the Pooh books, hardcovers, which is interesting, I didn't really. Oh yeah, they're actual stories. Oh, fun. Mm -hmm. All right, and the best is coming up. All right, and they got four of these Charles Dickens. This was actually a set of five. So I don't know if somebody had already bought the first one before we got there. Um, so again, probably 20 bucks for the four of these. And then the last set, but not the last item, the last set of books were these Mark Twain books, set of seven. That's the complete set. These are 30 to $50 for the set of seven. And these have wear on the spine on top and bottom. So these will probably, I'll probably list around the $30 mark. The nice thing about books, they're easy to ship <coughs> and much cheaper to ship than other items that would go first class or whatever. But this was the first item when we walked in the sale that I grabbed immediately. Look at this fabulous mid-century solid brass lamp. And it's, this is actually brass but then they put the vinyl wood sticker over it. Um, but yeah, the lamp is fabulous condition. Do not know the maker, but this is the kind of lamp we sell down at the Pink Elephant, you know, for 75 to $100 for a lamp like this, without a shade. With the shade, depending upon the shade, it can go for a lot more. So that's where that's gonna go. We paid $5 for that. Fabulous find for $5 that's our haul for today folks hope you enjoyed it small haul but it's good some good stuff that i think will be pretty quick turnaround and fairly good money thanks for watching catch you next time